I met Brian on September 2nd, 2019, almost 19 months ago. We both immediately liked each other. Our second date was on his 50th birthday and I gave him a present, some books. Some friends of mine said that that was bold of me for a second date. On our third date, apparently I gave him some kind of letter and in my journal later, I quoted that he said, either we get married or we part ways and I'm betting on the former, so I will cherish this letter. Now that is bold and that is Brian. He was the most interesting person I have ever met and I could hardly believe that he said the same thing about me. He always told me he loved doing everything with me. Nothing was too mundane that we wouldn't have fun doing it together. One day when we were engaged, I told him, I always wanted to marry a happy man. He loved that so much. Sometimes he would ask me, what kind of man did you always want to marry? And I would tell him again. He loved people so much. He loved talking to anyone and everyone. We would sometimes leave the AT&T store or the bank feeling like we made a new best friend. And it was because of his special way of drawing people out and making them feel comfortable and connecting with them on whatever there was to connect with. We had the best wedding ever. It was my favorite wedding of all time. He said I was his favorite person out of all 7.6 billion people in the world, and he was mine too. I learned so many things from him in the 18 months that I knew him. Brian was a man who lived according to what he believed. He believed that God is so big that he can do anything, and he orders everything. That may seem terrifying to think that every minutia is up to God, but the bigger you understand God to be, the more peace and joy you can have. And you could see that in Brian. He would frequently remind me in some kind of bad situation, these are just circumstances. Nothing has changed. God is the same. And of course, his catchphrase was soli deo gloria, which means glory to God alone. He really lived like everything was for God's glory. Not only that, but everything was up to God. He would tell me that his ears were his money makers, but God gave them to him and God could take them away at any time. He believed the same about his life, his every breath. God gave it to him and God could take it away. Brian did not pass away by accident. He was only 51 years old. Everyone thought he would get better. There was no reason why he should not have gotten better. I'm not saying this out of bitterness. What I'm saying is that it was God's will for him to pass away. There was no divine negligence or divine malpractice. These are just circumstances. Nothing has changed. God is the same. And it's all soli deo gloria, for God's glory alone. What Brian believed and what I believe is that every breath is a gift from God that we do not deserve. What we deserve is punishment for sinning against God. But in God's mercy, he lets us live each day. This doesn't take away or even lessen my grief, but it removes any chance of despair. I have an ocean of grief, but at the very bottom is rock solid peace and trust in God. I feel so privileged, honored, blessed and amazed that I got to be Brian's wife, if even for a short time. I thank God for every second that I was privileged to know Brian and to be his wife.